أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الذي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إتق الله وكن ما صادق الله عز وجل you can never say never Allah is free to do whatever he wants there is an exception that Allah can guide whom he wants however he wants but the rule that Allah has bestowed upon us from Allah to Sayyidina Muhammad from Prophet to Ulul Am is have a consciousness and follow truthful servants, truthful in their deeds and in their actions. And to follow them is a physical guidance through a treacherous and dangerous path of unseen realities. So then they describe that if the Grand Canyon which in, in the Americas is an immense valley, miles deep, horrific to look at and then there's a trail to get on and walk down. If you walk it most will fall off the edge out of the fear of heights and what they're going to do now or they'll freeze. So they actually put you on a donkey and they blindfold you and then the donkeys go down because they're not scared, they're trained for that. And you are on that path, safe on that donkey going down. Same understanding and guidance. That when Allah wants to guide through these realities, it's not for you to think that you can open up your hearing and vision in a world that you don't see. Are you hearing and seeing a jinn, a dirty jinn, a mu'min jinn? You think you're hearing angels? What is it that you see and hear? And the dangers you have no idea what you're seeing and hearing. So imagine taking yourself to skid row, blindfold yourself and put a whole bunch of cash in your pocket. If you could survive that then sure you don't need a guide. <laughs> but they probably have your clothes off within five minutes and take everything out of you. It's a treacherous and difficult way to deal with something you don't see. As soon as you have a guide you're asking the guide everything. I'm meditating, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this energy, I'm feeling like that. And because you're holding to them they tell you, don't focus on that, don't focus on that. Do your zikr, do your tafakkur, do your practices, don't get lost in what you think and you're hearing and what you're seeing. I should go here, I should do that, I should sell this, I should buy that. The physical guide tells you, no your coordinates are wrong, continue with your practices. If you don't have that physical calibration that calibrates you you will be all over the place and that's when you go to those new age conferences they're all crazy. They're all over the place. Everyone believing in everything, going sp spooky, mystical, floating, aliens coming that are all blonde and, and brunettes and it's just not right. They make up whatever is in their hawa and their desires that's what we started the talk with. You make your desire and that's what you begin to imagine. They don't want the person to follow their desires but they want to follow the haqqaiq and come against the desires, inshaAllah. Um, this is, um, they're asking if hearing during meditation is like the real voice of the shaykh or what is the voice they hear? Is it the shaykh, is it them or? No, the real hearing is that you hear yourself, that when you sit you're, you're in a continuous state, your being that's inside you, the being that want to communicate with you and then the being that's in the highest association. Means it wants to send you your coordinates from Allah But you have to be at a state in which you can silence every sound to hear what you have to say to yourself. What is the guidance that my Lord has sent upon my soul for me to understand? That's why the tafakkur is so powerful. Most people live their life with never slowing down. So then they just listen to whatever they're doing in the speed of their emotion. As soon as you sit to contemplate and then through their practices and their trainings on how to shut off all the different sounds they begin to try to hear their voice and the shaykh will push their voice onto them. Later at different levels they, when they have an extreme love for their guide they have the flavor and the mannerism of how their guide talks to them and they can hear that dialogue with the shaykh. That's at a much higher level. Um, this person 
Krishna is asking, what are the signs of the opening of spiritual hearing and sight? Signs. Signs? Signs. That you can hear and see. <laughs> yeah. Chalna, that you actually are, are following the shaykh that these ears don't open without ihtiba, without following. We are the people of Samina wa Tana. Anyone who has a spiritual openings but they don't listen to the instructions then those are again nafsani, those are from the ego and from shaitan and jinns playing with people. This way of following their teaching, following their orders, even if you're at a distance and you heard the sobat, you heard the talks, then you go back and you fight with everybody, you do whatever you want, you can't say that now I'm hearing the shaykh. The hearing of the shaykh or hearing of, of inspiration is when Allah is pleased with the servant and they came against and they come against their desires and they begin to listen to their inspiration. The inspiration of the soul is always a difficulty against the body, not the inspiration of the nafs that go and tell this person this, go correct this, go say like this to somebody. But when you hear from your soul it means go pray 20 rakahs right now, right now, go read your dalal akhirat, go give whatever is in your pocket to that person over there. Everything that hard upon the soul, upon the nafs coming from the soul, that level then they begin to hear and they'll hear the inspirations that are coming into their, their heart of what Allah wants from them to them. Then they begin to get heated up and they feel heat coming upon them and slowly, slowly the khash that Allah begin to open different visions within their heart of inspirations and visions. Um, what should one recite for protection from any evil spirit or shaitan during meditation at night and to remove fear also from the heart? Yeah, we have a, a protection against evilness that if you go to the website or to the app that you click on the meditation or even in the search engine that protection against evilness it's a whole system. Means that you, you learn to the tafakkur that you keep your wudu at all times, that you keep yourself covered, you enter the teachings of meditation and tafakkur, that you're been taught how to make madad. Everything you're doing is a madad. As soon as I sit I'm asking support, I'm asking the support of all my teachers all the way up to Sayyidina Muhammad I live and die by that understanding, always in a state of madad, always in a state of madad. Then they learn from them and read all of the different recitations, keep themselves in a state of wudu and then they sleep. When they sleep, they sleep with their head covered, their body parts are covered and they sleep in a state of wudu and they try not to break their wudu unless they have to get up, wash again and then enter into the wudu. Then there's ayat al-Qur'an al-Kareem. Four falak, three nas, two ikhlas and one ending du'a that's on that article of wickedness that it adds to nine. They recite and blow upon themselves before they sleep. And then there are other du'as on that article if they're experiencing more and more energies. As soon as they enter into their tafakkur and contemplation they may have many dreams in which they are trying to defend themselves. Because now the shaykhs want to test that, are you trying to defend yourself with yourself or you're calling upon madad? If you're not making the madad then there's still something wrong in what you understand. You think that you can fix the problem instead of asking for the madad and support of Allah <coughs> Sayyidi, can we get guidance on any matter from shaykh through meditation if we live in a different country? And also how can we recognize if it's guidance from the shaykh or whispers from the shaitan? Yeah, the meditation is not, is not for the guidance at that level, that's at a much higher level. That's, you know, that's when your whole cellular network is running. You're talking about the introduction to meditation by connecting your heart, making your muraqabah and you're doing your awrad. So you, it's already written awrad by, authorized by the shaykhs and all the grand shaykhs, you recite the awrad, you make the meditation, you make the zikr of Allah enter into a state in which you can get your heart to feel the energy that's coming, that the shaykh is in front of you, that I'm nothing, I'm nothing, to make yourself in a state of being nothing 
to enter into the muhabbat and the khudur and the fana. So it means all these things that have to be accomplished and then as far as actual guidance from the articles, from the talks, a lot of the questions that people have probably answered before they even ask them because the guidance is what comes to your heart is like a signal being sent out. It's their responsibility to begin to sort of answer that signal. So the guidance is coming by the sheer amount of talks and lectures and, and SoundCloud and every th format imaginable. Anything specific to a life choice then they can email the society or the shaykh that they're dealing with. They email and say that I have a specific question but the guidance is on a day to day the talk gives us the guidance, oh I shouldn't fight with anyone, I should be following that. Did you follow that? Because immediately tonight and tomorrow you'll be in conflict with all sorts of testing and see if you follow that, inshaAllah. What is the difference between a state of sadness, lamentation, weeping during meditation and a state of happiness, celebration, laughing? The, the weepingness is generally related to the soul. When the proximity of, of a holy energy begin to enter near the soul, there's a tremendous amount of weeping because of the proximity of that Divinely Presence through that soul. If the soul of Prophet comes immediately all oh, crushing and crying and crying because of the soul's reality in the immense understanding of how it knows it's done everything wrong. It's not like the nafs to be proud. The soul knows that we came onto the earth, we didn't achieve what we promised to achieve to Allah the soul knows that I miss you, I'm yearning for you, I've been far from you, I'm stuck on this abode and begin to cry and cry and cry like a reunion with something very beloved. So it means that there's a, a very holy soul entering into that presence and then tajalli becomes very sort of heavy upon the soul and the crying and crying. And then the euphoric dress is by its nature is euphoric. You feel the energy, you feel happy, you feel good, this is energies are coming into the heart, filling the heart. So both Jalali with Jamal. So you have to mix, there has to be a, a, a might and majesty to make everything to crush and to cry and then Allah send the Jalali to like a rain to make the soul to be happy and the heart to be sort of joyful inshaAllah, a mixing, they come in, in mixes inshaAllah. When is the best time for meditation? Inshallah after Asr because this is a moment in which the earth everything is shutting down and uh, from Salat al-Tahajjud or Asr to Maghrib or from Salat al-Tahajjud to Fajr inshaAllah when everything is slow and shut down and people are not busy on the network. This dunya is like a big internet. If people are busy in the middle of the day the connection is not going to be good and it's based on a dunya understanding energy. When everybody's sleeping Allah describes the signals very strong. That's why He recommends to come and pray Salat al-Tahajjud where the Divinely Presence is very close to insan because the energy is very strong inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.